I'm Omnisai, your Game Master, this evening here in my lair. Omnisai, here at the Lair of Omnisai on day 27 of RPG A Day from the RPG Brigade, answering questions to uplift the gaming community, to inspire my fellow gamers, and eh, to entertain you. So, today's question is, what are your essential tools for good gaming? So, uh, essential tools, the absolute things that you need. Well, for almost all games, you need dice. I've got dice. I've got a bell jar full of dice. I've got, you know, Crown Royal bags and whatnot. So, you need the right dice. I like having the, the right kinds of dice. So, for example, to get me in the mood, my dice are black with white pips for high contrast so I can easily see what I roll. Occasionally, I'll have different colored dice for different things. For example, in my uh, Werewolves of the Caribbean campaign, I have my black ones, which are my every down roll. I'll have different colored dice for different uh, elemental themes or things that, for example, silver dice that can't be soaked by a, a, a werewolf might use particular dice, uh, as opposed to the skill dice that they could also use. So that can be useful. Uh, of course, pencil papers, uh, sometimes a screen, although I rarely use a screen. Uh, the correct books and having the correct books on hand is useful. The table around me is also very useful. Uh, having the right... Shut up! I apologize. My electronics are speaking up. Which kind of brings me to another point. Having the right environment is essentially important. Having my table be able to comfortably seat all my friends, uh, all my players, having uh, their accommodations, their spaces to roll. And also this particular table actually top comes out and I have a space for my uh, layout for my battle mat miniatures. Not essential, perhaps, especially for some games. I keep the top on for my werewolf because it's not tactical. I rarely have situations that I want to uh, put a tactical spin on. But I, again, as far as the environment goes, we're down here in my basement, which is fine. I'm not complaining. It's isolated and generally fairly quiet especially if my son's cooperating with me and the cat isn't being mouthy. But it's nice to have more than that. So, for example, audio. I love tabletop audio. Recently, though, I've come across some uh, nice people called the Guild of the Black Crow. The composer, uh, a gentleman named Scott Miles, approached me on one of the Facebook sites that I frequent, and he's like, hey, uh, you want uh, ambient audio? Shoot me a line. And I was the first person to respond. I'm like, yeah, can you make a pirate galley with the sounds of uh, ocean and creaking boards and pirate talk? And he did it within a day. Uh, and it sounds really good. He put the put it on SoundCloud, so it's it's free. If uh, Maybe I'll put the link down so that uh, you guys can see what kind of quality they do. Um, but I've never had anybody just offer to make me an audio file custom-made to what I wanted, and he did. So uh, I'm going to put a link uh, to this video on site, uh, uh, to that SoundCloud, and also Guild of the Black Crow. I'm going to give them a, a head or two so that you guys can follow them for your own interests. Um, I'm sure at some point they're probably going to charge for it, but it was awfully nice of for him to just put that out for me. Um, in addition, I'm going to give them some other suggestions and see what else they can do. But uh, tabletop audio otherwise is my fallback for good audio. I have a Bluetooth speaker that I can patch into my phone or to my tablet, and uh, it's powerful enough to last the entire session. I can put it uh, right there. Almost as essential as what you have, though, is important not to have. Uh, for example... Uh, here, I generally don't like to have people with lots of electronics doodling at the table. That annoys the daylights out of me as a game master. I don't like the competition. I don't feel I should have the competition. It's something that's a relatively recent nuisance, but 
yeah, it's essential to limit that. I know people can't get away from their connected lives, and if they get a phone call, yeah, it may be important, they may have to do it, but then leave the table. Go away so that you're not bothering the rest of us. Just general rules of decency and common sense. Uh, of course, there's lots of other add-ons that uh, aren't essential, but they're fun. My 3D dungeon tiles are fun, but not essential. Uh, all of the different miniatures that go with, you know, they're fun. It's certainly uh, something that's a bit more exciting than just describing when you can actually uh, lay out, especially a tactical game like Dungeons and Dragons, where you can plot out how big that fireball is and how many of your enemies can you catch, uh, be rewarded for, you know, how smart you are with the tactics that you use that can be really nice and having the set set up and things like that are doubly nice not essential but handy to have um, other things like my initiative marker board i have off to the side incense to try to invoke a particular scent or something you know colored filters for my lights so they're not going to be constantly in a oh say a, a vernal uh, landscape of forest uh, field stuff I could put a green wash over that and and you know gen generally try to invoke a particular feeling or effect through the de the game um, those are all nice to have costuming hats things like that not essential but fun but my essentials dice or, or whatever you use deck of cards what 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 a game requires um, decent players around in a good environment you've got a game as long as you've got the books and the know-how and an adventure ready, you're set. I'm Omnisai here at the Lair of Omnisai, and I am wishing you safe adventures.